Hi friends, so every time I come with you with new knowledge and new concept. Today our concept is for chemical engineers. Our concept is to find out the Raynaud number for the agitator design. It is the most important topic for the scale up purpose. So uh, we have one reactor here. We, this is a patch reactor and uh, we have to find the Reynolds number. So <coughs> for the agitator problems, there is one formula. Reynolds number is equal to rho and dA square by mu. Now what are the significance of all the terms? So uh, this is a Reynolds number. This rho is the density, this n is the agitation, rpm, dA is the diameter of agitator of the sweep diameter and this mu, mu is the viscosity. So these are the terms. Now if we want to find out this, we must know what is the solvent we are using inside this reactor. Now for the example, if we are taking water as a solvent, so for the water, we know the rho, the density of water. Generally we take 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Now RPM, what we take RPM in the reactor. If we have RPM is equal to 60, then 60 by 60 is the RPS, rotations per second, because we are taking here SI units. So uh, we divide 60 RPM divided by 60, so uh, we will get uh, 1 RPS, rotations per second. Now mu is equal to 0.87 this is a millipascal into second so this is a unit we take this is the water property at 25 degree centigrade this is the uh, density of water at 25 degree centigrade we are taking here example at normal temperature what are the what is uh, sufficient temperature i mean uh, uh, the ambient temperature so now Reynolds number is equal to uh, one one more thing I just forget the diameter of agitator of the sweep diameter here how we have to measure this is the sweep diameter d a or diameter of agitator so we have to know this we can measure this if we have no data available in the plant. So DA, uh, suppose we take 0.5 meter. Now, we know that Reynolds number is a dimensionless number. So there is no dimension for the Reynolds number. So whatever we have, we have to take account and we have to calculate. Now, rho is equal to 1000 kilo upon meter cube. Then uh, uh, the RPS, is equal to 1 into diameter of agitator and the square of that so 0.5 square now the viscosity 0.87 now we have to calculate this and whatever we have calculated this is a dimensionless so if we suppose we get here 20,000 so there is no unit for this Reynolds number and we all know that if Reynolds numbers is greater than 4000 then this will be called as turbulent region in the reactor. So this is how we can find out the Reynolds numbers for the agitation problems that are mainly for scale up and technology transfer purpose. Uh, next time I will uh, teach you about the how we can find out the power number uh, in the relation of Reynolds number. Thank you for watching and subscribe for the more videos.